If you haven't tried a meal kit yet, what are you even doing with your life? <laughs> Just kidding. Turns out 29% of millennials have tried a meal kit subscription service at least once, and that number seems to be growing. There's something about my generation that makes us prime targets for these subscriptions. And the reasons are both super depressing and a little encouraging. I recently tried to explain the concept of meal kits to my parents who aren't that old and realized how crazy it sounds. Yeah, so every week you select meals from the website. There's stuff like cauliflower wings, chipotle mac and cheese, you know, tofu katsu curry, stuff like that. And then you get instructions and every ingredient perfectly portioned in a little bag delivered to your front door. Yeah, no, it's all refrigerated inside. Yeah, no, and then after you just throw it all out and it's like done. Thanks to the many technological advancements over the last 50 years, we now live in a society almost completely disconnected from our food. The vast majority of people have no clue who made the food that they're eating, where it's from, or even what they're eating sometimes. Why are you doing this to us? Well, in my opinion, not enough people have looked their dinner in the eyes and considered the circle of life. This is your dinner, his name is Tom. Here is one of Amazon's top selling pre-packaged meals. I can't pronounce half the stuff that's on this ingredients list. Now granted, it is probably delicious, but something tells me that it just barely met FDA regulations. The prevalence of easy, well-preserved food enabled us to expand our time and our productivity. We no longer have to spend our entire day foraging and cooking food. We now have all that free time to work more and watch YouTube videos and start that side hustle that you learned about on TikTok. But with all this convenience comes a cost. The rise of processed foods, like I mentioned before, to no one's real surprise, coincided with the rise of a number of public health issues. Some doctors have dubbed this an epidemic of chronic illness. A huge host of autoimmune issues are becoming increasingly common even amongst younger populations. Those dang kids nowadays are now being diagnosed with diabetes at record rates. That's just depressing. I mean, you can't even get mad at them now. For many people, the solution to this crisis is to return back to more pronounceable foods. We've seen this in the rise of a number of health trends, including the paleo movement, which emphasizes eating organic, all natural foods that would have replicated something closer to what our ancient ancestors would have had access to. The very real problem with this movement is though that they're the exact opposite of convenient. It's just a well-documented scientific reality that the healthier a meal is, the more annoying it is to make it taste good. So we have a generation of millennials, like myself, who are ready to eat better, but maybe they have next to no knowledge of how to cook real food at home. We were raised on craft dinners at home and KFC chicken buckets. You think we know how to make a Buddha bowl? Enter the meal kit. This might be the perfect blend of convenience and healthy eating. Fresh, pre-portioned ingredients delivered straight to your door with easy to follow recipes. No more meal planning, no more shopping. You don't have all that rotten food going bad in your fridge making you look like a dirt bag. In the end, you find yourself with a home cooked meal without many of the worst aspects of having to cook your meals at home. Now, the very first meal kit service was launched in 2007 by Kiki Theander, a Swedish mother of three who helped other families cook home cooked meals without having to deal with meal planning and purchasing. It sounds like she was actually just a genuinely great person. Those are hard to come by nowadays. Kiki's delivery service, see what I did there, was a quick success and soon other countries were picking up on the idea. Today we have over 150 different meal kit services in the USA alone, 150. Typically these businesses lure in new customers with great deals on their first kit to get them to subscribe to regular deliveries. Now you don't find yourself eating the same vegetarian spaghetti that you cook every Sunday night and then eat throughout the week. Although, I love vegetarian spaghetti and I would eat it five days in a week like I have for the last 10 years since I left home. 
It's a perfect system for the modern urbanite. The tech savvy, crazy busy millennial with the side hustle, born and bred into a convenience culture, and they're used to ordering everything and anything online. But here's the thing. The most obvious issue with the meal kits is literally the financial cost but this is largely because dealing with food is expensive, especially when these meal kit services have dozens of meals to choose from every week. Fresh produce can be expensive to begin with. After being imported and delivered, a lot has to be chopped up and processed by hand. Then after packaging it and boxing it up nicely, they have to get it from the packaging facility to you. In the end, a lot of these meal kits cost between $10 and $15 per meal per person, which is way better than eating out still, but if you started eating a $12 meal three times a day, that's going to add up fast. But there's another more hidden cost to all of this. Meal kit services are desperately struggling to retain customers. And one of the best ways to get new customers in is by reducing the price, which initially sounds like a good thing, as we've said. One of the industry leaders who you probably know of, HelloFresh, reduces costs dramatically by purchasing ingredients directly from the growers. Without that grocery store middleman, they save an estimated 70% on fresh ingredients. This would also theoretically save a lot on energy for transportation costs as well. HelloFresh also uses algorithms to predict what dishes customers will want, and they're able to use this data to purchase almost exactly the right amount of ingredients from suppliers. As a result, they report only about 1% of their food getting thrown into the landfill. And of course, because because they're so meticulous about packaging the right amount of ingredients for each kit, customers also reduce their food waste as well. Seeing as we humans throw out about 1.3 billion tons of food every year, anything that can reduce our food waste is a win in our book. We actually talk a lot more about that in our Costco video if you're interested in that. We definitely ruffled some feathers with that one. Unfortunately, in the process of reducing food waste, meal kits have become notoriously problematic for another kind of waste, the plastic variety. See, another way that meal kits cut and costs is through packaging. If you've ever received a meal kit, you know what we're probably talking about here. Pretty much every ingredient in a meal kit is wrapped individually in plastic. And there's a lot of little things in there. Packets of spices, individually wrapped portions of veggies, sauces, and they do this for literally every meal they send out. And let's not forget about the ice packs. To keep your food fresh and unspoiled, kits typically come with a bunch of ice packs. And despite what the packaging might say, most of them just go straight into the trash. And here's where we get to a bigger issue, the total confusion around recycling and what can be thrown out and what cannot and what you should recycle and what you should just throw away and why you're a bad person and whether or not this is helping. Really, it's just super confusing. Thanks to public pressure, many meal kits have started introducing more recyclable and biodegradable components into their meal kits. A lot of this we suspect is just eco-friendly labeling on a lot of these packages. And it also happens to be dependent on where you live because something that is recyclable in one place will not be recyclable in another. And this applies to composting as well. Here in Canada, what can and cannot be recycled depends largely on municipalities. Without much in terms of widespread federal regulations, there's not a whole lot stopping companies from just slapping recycling labels onto packages and calling it a day. To make matters worse, even if a municipality can technically recycle an item, the world is so inundated with plastic that we simply can't get around to all of it. So a lot of this ends up in the landfill anyway. But before we all descend into the pits of despair, we do have some good news. I know of at least one company that has successfully implemented a zero waste meal kit, and it's pretty freaking neat. Fresh Prep is a meal kit service based on the west coast of Canada, and it is the world's first zero waste meal kit. They use reusable packaging, which they collect the next time that they drop off a meal kit, and you just send the old bag back with them. Inside, you get these cool, 
containers with all of the individual ingredients portioned out. And it actually makes the meal prep process even easier because you don't spend all that time cutting open all these little plastic bags. Sadly, Fresh Prep is only available here on the west coast of Canada but it does demonstrate this is possible. They put a ton of work into innovating this new delivery system, and we're hoping that other companies will follow suit. Now you're probably wondering, thank you for the overwhelming amount of information, Levi. Um, what do I do now? Do I not get the meal kits? Do I get the meal kits? Don't worry. We're at that point of the video now. The good news about these meal kits soaring popularity is that it means that people actually want to have a better relationship with the food that they eat. My personal experience of using these meal kits is that it's sort of like a cooking class that you do yourself. They introduce you to a wide variety of ingredients that maybe you would have never thought to combine. And their instructions are really simple and straightforward so you feel successful at the end of the meal. I personally have meals that I now eat on a regular basis because I discovered them through a meal kit. But if we really want to push back against taking the easy route, meal kits should be the first step as we learn to meal plan effectively, shop responsibly, and cook in a way that doesn't end up with a whole bunch of unnecessary food waste. But all of that takes education, and maybe a meal kit is the first step along that route. So personally, I am an optimist. I would like to believe that this is the start of a promising new chapter, and maybe I uh, am looking the wrong direction. Let us know what you think of meal kits down below, and if you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting the like button to support what we're doing here, maybe subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content from us. Oh, 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 oh,